Hi guys, well I bet you thought it wouldn't happen. I finally have got all the parts for my uh, lamb box build, so I was waiting for two things. I'm not going to go through everything again guys because I kind of assume you either watch the series or you haven't. If you haven't watched the series there'll be a link in the video description below about the parts and where I got them from. Needless to say they all post and the last two things I was waiting for was my Bit Phoenix Prodigy M in glorious orange. I love orange. It's my favourite colour. And I think it looks really, really good. I um, think it's perfect size for this kind of PC. And then a hard drive. So I couldn't find an SSD for a reasonable price in Britain. Apparently people think their used parts are worth what they paid for them when they bought them. But I did find a uh, Western Digital 1TB um, black drive for £40. So I thought, well, WD Black's are really good fast for a mechanical drive and you know to be honest this machine is just going to be used for traveling and going around to people's houses to play games so I'm not really that bothered so a WD black drive for um, 40 pounds is absolutely fine and um, so now all I need to do is get everything into that case and then get windows on it and do a bit of benchmarks possibly not all in one video I think this is going to be a two-parter guys uh, I would have thought um, there will be a price list um, in the video description below. I'll probably also just put the prices up on the screen um, as I'm doing the build montage. So that's it guys. Let's get all this stuff into that orange box. Hey guys, well I've been pulling this thing apart so I've got my GoPro set up so hopefully you should see a view down here as well. <clears throat> so I was getting the power supply ready here, putting this bracket on. It's going to suck air in through the front and it's got this little cable. Um, that plugs into it and then it gets power normally from the back. Um, what I did notice was that this board, you probably see it better on my DSLR, but there's a CPU fan header there and then it's only got one more chassis fan header, so that means I can only run two fans, which is not a good idea in a case like this. I don't want to run just my CPU fan and an exhaust fan, because it actually comes with two um, fans. There's one there, one there. And that would be fine for me. And then you can pull off this kind of cover. It's magnetic if you want to use the bottom as an intake. It's quite cool. Um, so I'm going to have to find some sort of adapters. I don't really want to run stuff off Molex because then it'll just run at full power. But um, we can, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I don't think I've got any fan controllers lying about that I can just run from that chassis fan part. But I might have. Uh, the other thing that's very handy is this board doesn't support uh, USB 3. I'm kind of regretting doing this now, but it does have a USB 3 to USB 2 adapter, so at least those um, front ports won't be dead. They'll run slower, that's okay. And also, I get the impression that the SATA on this is running at 3 gigabits rather than 6, so my WD black drive is going to be severely hampered. But, you know, what can we do? Oh, this stuff was all free. So I'm not going to complain too much. He says complaining. Uh, so yeah, I suppose we just crack on. I'm kind of thinking maybe Ryzen would have been better. Anyway, I'm going to turn off my DSLR and um, I'll leave the GoPro running just so you guys can see what I'm up to. Okay, bye. <laughs> space in this case but um the hard drive is gonna mount 
up here so I've checked it for clearance on the GPU and then what's supposed to happen is that the is that the um, get past so all the IO is supposed to come in here which means really long runs up to all the IO on this side of the panel here but what I've noticed is that this panel will mount on the other side so what I'm going to do is do that and handily apart from the USB 3 all of the front panel unplugs so I'm going to plug in all my front panel stuff and run it back to here um, they're keyed so you can't really go wrong but yeah pro tip if you're building in a small space like this plug your cables in and run them back to where they need to go um, also I've decided that I'm going to put um, you're probably able to see it on this camera. So I'm going to put two fans in here just to pull air straight down onto the graphics card. I'm going to clip that as well. Um, I'm just going to run them on Molex until I get some splitters. I thought I had some Noctua splitters, but I think I used them in my girlfriend's rig. Um, and then I'm going to put an exhaust here. I'm not going to have an intake, I don't think. I think I'm just going to let the CPU fan pull air from the bottom of the case. Um, so I've got some mesh, uh, magnetic mesh I can put on the back of that to stop air, uh, dust getting in, but it's going okay. I mean, this is taking ages. I haven't built in a small form factor case in a long, long time. So, um, yeah, just the amount of time it takes to try things. Like with a hard drive, especially, I was like, oh, right, is the hard drive actually going to touch the top of the GPU heatsink? So then you've got to, like, test fit it, blah, blah, blah. It, it just takes time, guys. I mean, I've been at this for over an hour now but yeah just an update just to let you know as well like, that's what you should do that's going to be the molex which is a bit of a mess but i'll just zip tie all this back those will get cable managed up to the fans at the top and then hopefully it'll all be fine um anyway guys i just thought i'd give you a little tip there plug your cables in and run them back even front io because front io is going to be a nightmare to get to in this thing if i had the fans in etc etc Anyway guys, that's that. Hopefully when I come back I will have a booted machine. Bye. Okay guys, so it's all put together. <coughs> I'm not taking off that side panel because it's a nightmare, but two fans in the top to blow air down onto the card, the graphics card, open air at the bottom for the CPU and an exhaust basically. So this is the moment of truth. Is it gonna boot? Well that's a good sign. Let's swing over to the monitor. See if we get a signal. Oh, lights come on. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to install Windows now and update the BIOS and all the rest of it from this little stick. And then I'll come back to you, hopefully, with a working machine and some temps and things like that. Bye. Hey guys, well I had it all plugged in and got Windows installed and there's some odd behaviour. Then I installed the latest BIOS which took a while and it kind of it installs Windows but then it won't boot. And this is the problem my friend had with this graphics card. So I've taken this out, I've put in a 970, I'm not going to close it up again because the, the hard drive should be okay there on the cage. and. I'm just going to power it up and see if I get into Windows. And if I do, then I know what the problem is. And if I don't, then, well, I don't know. It's something completely different. Where is the power button? There it is. So let's turn you round, guys. Look at the monitor, see if we get the signal. And hopefully, the car's getting power. Everything's spinning. Um, is the panel on? So the panel's not getting a signal, which is not good. Oh, there we go. Cool, cool. It's doing stuff. And this is where it tends to just, like, die. But if I get into Windows, then... I think we're, we're okay. And I just need to look at a new graphics card. It is taking a while to boot which is my concern. Uh, but like, this is taking way longer than I thought it would take today. It's been really annoying, actually.
Whoa, okay. So that never normally happens. I've got a keyboard. Oops, sorry guys. I've got a keyboard set up here. Uh, there we go. Let's see if it takes me in. I mean, this is fine because I can get everything updated. Um, but yeah, I might have to get a graphics card. Let's see what it's going to do. Remember, guys, although it's WD Black, it's a um, SATA 2 port, so it won't be super fast. I'll be changing that. I will be getting a SATA 3 card to run through the PCIe lane, or just changing completely. But this is further than I've got before. And look at that. We're into Windows. So, this GPU is bricked for some reason. Well, that's cool. I know that. Um, I wonder if it'll let me change resolution if I go oh, slow display settings. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's just try that for the moment. Yeah, keep changes. Uh, I forgot it's on the 4K panel, so it's probably not going to do perfect scaling. But that's cool. So that means that it's the graphics card that's dead. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. I'm probably going up, to up, uh, update my drivers, which I have. And then it's going to be trying to find a new GPU. Bye. Hey guys, so it's um, Monday now. So I was doing the build yesterday on Sunday. I'll probably get the video up in a day or two. But um, so this all works. This little LAN box, junk box project actually works with the, my 970 in it. But it doesn't work with a 7870. So I don't know what's wrong with it. I've taken it apart. Um, the thermal paste is fine. There's no burnt out capacitors. I think it's just old. It's just old. So. I'm now weighing up the decision as to whether I want to buy something new, which will certainly be bottlenecked by the FX8120 to some degree, or look for a second-hand car. Now, with prices the way they are at the moment, as you know, for GPUs, it's almost like, is there any point in looking for a second-hand car? Um, you know, or should I buy, say, a 1080 or a 1080 Ti? Put that in one of my machines or in my girlfriend's machine or get a 1070 for her machine uh, and salvage out one of the 970s for this um i don't know i certainly want to have this project finished um start sometime in november and um, just for when i'm away over the christmas period so i've got a machine with me so i can do some editing i can do some gaming um but that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video um like i thought this was going to take me an hour I spent all day yesterday um, trying to diagnose a problem and it ended up being this 7870 here, um, which is a great little card, don't get me wrong, it's a great card, it just uh, doesn't work. Probably be okay for mining actually, which is something I was thinking about, because it does boot. It's absolutely fine, it just doesn't display out, which isn't a problem if you were going to sit it in a machine for others mining away. Anyway, that would be another project guys, but um, that's really it for this video. I'm sorry I've been absent for the last wee while i've had some other things if you've been following the channel you know i've had other other things in my life going on and studying as well doesn't help i don't have a lot of time um but i'm trying to put out content that's interesting that i find interesting that i hope you'll find interesting and not just cover like news stories and things like that just for the sake of putting something out there guys but um anyway if you've got any ideas if any of you have cards you're getting rid of around about 960 970 level and um, similarly on the AMD side, you know, drop a comment. I'd be happy to pay for them. I'm just not going to pay stupid prices for a car to get this thing up and running. Uh, if I have to buy something new, I will. And um, if I buy something new, it's probably going to force me to go to like a, a Ryzen 1400 or something in the long run in this. Um, because I do like the form factor. Uh, this is really good. Having something this size, I like. Just sat on a desk somewhere. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to get on out of here and... Um, Catch you later in another video. Bye.